Hi, landed here. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit about the major pen, uh, pentatonic scale and the major scale for the guitar. As you can see, we have the guitar here. Um, so why know these scales? Number one, these scales will help you not only understand how chords are built up and how you can start building your own chords, even though if you don't know the fingering positions, you can just go to the combination of notes required and build your own chords in different ways throughout the neck. But also how you add some solos and ad-libs, picking and stuff like that. All this, the major and pentatonic scale and the major scale will help you do all of that. So let's, let's get started. Major scale first, I'm gonna be in G just for ease. So a major scale is simply, if you start with the root note of G, which is the third fret on the first string or the string closest to you, G, okay? Then you're gonna go to down a uh, whole step to A, fifth fret, okay? On that same string. And then you're gonna go to B on the A string, second fret, third fret, C. Then you're gonna go to the fifth fret, D. So real quick, that's G, A, B, C, D. Okay. And then we're going to go to the third string, the D string. And we're going to start up top here for our sixth note, which is E. Then our seven, right, which is our F sharp. And then we're back to G, the octave. So real quick, second, uh, third fret, fifth fret, second, third, five, then you're going to do second, four, five, okay? That's your major scale. That's your do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti. So uh, my finger positions real quick, what I like to do for bass or guitar is I like to have a finger per fret. And so I start with the root note or G with my second finger or my in, uh, middle finger. And my pinky will be on the, the final note. So that way I can shift through all fingers and just go down through the strings like that. Okay, it's really good that you practice those movements. If you've not, if you're new to doing single notes, practice those movements. It helps you if you can get faster and faster and faster. I'm honestly, I'm actually not a a guitarist by by nature. That's actually this is actually the latest instrument I've learned, but. Um, I'm not even that fast, but if you practice those movements, it'll help you be fast. Now, let me tell you that these notes translate in different ways, of course, on the fretboard. So that G, A, you, instead of going here for your B, you can go here, seventh fret, third dot. You can do a slide to that. Um, of course, four, five, or C, D. And by the way, if I say one, two, three, four, five, I'm talking about the number or position of, of number of notes that is in the scale. And I will do a separate video talking about the number theory. Trust me, you want to see it. It will really help you with uh, music theory and transposing a lot of other things. So, but anyways, so C, D, instead of playing this E on the uh, D string, I can play it on the A string and slide down to here. So, why is that important? Because now we can go to the pentatonic scale. So, the pentatonic scale uh, is simply taking five notes, hence the name pentatonic, five out of the major scale. And that is the one, two, three, five, and six. So in G, that's C, I'm sorry, G, A, B, D, E. Okay, so that... Now, um, you can come back to the, the octave there. And all of a sudden you can start seeing the application of the pentatonic scale along with the major scale uh, going together for your uh, solos, for your ad-libs on some of your chords. 
uh, if you're playing, you know, a G chord. All of a sudden you can throw some cool stuff in there. I use that pentasco. Um, in the bass world, and you can also apply this to the guitar, we have something called the box. The box is simply when you start at a note and you go down uh, two frets and you do that for three straight strings. So, so that's for G. Now using the pentatonic scale, what we can do in G is slide down to the two or the A and do the box there to get us back to the octave. There's the G again and then the two. So, and you really can just stay right there doing a lot of different licks. Bend it from the one, two, to the three. C, D, E, I mean, uh, G, A, B. So again, the major scale, major pentatonic. So those are the major scale and the pentatonic scale. Um, hope that helps. Uh, keep practicing. Remember, the major scale will start. That pattern is the same for every key. Uh, just whatever root note you start on. Right now I'm on G. Um, and that's where you start. If you were on a, doing it, playing in the key of A, you would start for A. Um, I will say this real quick uh, before we go, is that... Uh, Depending on what key you're in and what chord you're playing, you can mix the pentatonic and major scales between each other. So for instance, if I'm playing in the key of G, G, and then and the chord progression I'm, I'm soloing over is G to C, you can mix the G pentatonic scale and the C major scale as well. And the C pentatonic scale back and forth you can go back and forth so anyways i uh, hope you enjoyed that and uh and i hope you practice and apply that and it unlocks maybe a few things that you didn't know before um but the cool thing about music is you can try to use this and make it applicable to anything else you play so there you go the major scale and the pentatonic scale thank you for watching